Yo, what's up guys? This is Mark with Double the Fun Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to walk you guys through on what I use for spearfishing, whether I'm shore diving or shallow water inshore diving. So hope this gives you guys a little bit better understanding of what I use and maybe you can change your gear, it might help you guys out too. So first what we have, all right guys, so this is everything that I use, kind of a minimalist, but this is what I think is the, with the minimal amount of stuff that you need. So this is what I use for inshore, not offshore spear fishing. So first is a JB8, JBL 38 special gun, uh, also with the stringer. I had a video on that that I'll walk through. Next thing that I use, this is an academy knockoff of under armor it's uh it's just like a really thin wick free shirt that's tight uh, you really use it as a rash guard it doesn't keep me warm much but uh, i mean the water is warm down here in louisiana from really may until october next what i have is a weight belt i don't re like really wearing weight belts much but I will wear one if I'm diving in 10 feet of water or less. Uh, I'm really negatively buoyant, especially with these fins. So I sink pretty good. But the way you, you want to weight yourself is put a weight on, exhale. And if you're in the water, the water line should be on your face, preferably at right at your mask. So next what I have are these Scuba Pro uh, jet fins. These things have been out since the, really, I think the 60s and the the design has never changed they're used by navy seals they're one of the most hardcore sturdy things that will last forever and i put these things through the ringer now the scuba fins but i use them for inshore because when i'm diving really 10 feet or less i find that it gives me the ability to get down and uh, stay down without much movement like as those big fins with these you do need booties these booties i've used for a really long time these are scuba pro fins uh i mean scuba pro booties these things are the most comfortable and durable ones that i've that i found next is my knife i already go over what, uh, my knife setup you need a good knife especially if you're diving um in fresh water with low visibility that way if you get tangled up in line fishing line or something you can use your knife and cut yourself free you need down here you always need a good set of gloves with the, with the fish that we shoot catfish sheephead um they all they all have spines and the gloves keep your hands from getting torn up next next is my mask this is really a, a mask that i got off of amazon i think for 20 dollars. it's really my favorite mask that i found it's a, it's a low profile mask it's all black all around that helps keep the sunlight out so i can see see better with it i have it attached to this to just a regular j snorkel i think simpler is better i used to have one that had the blue thing in the back you really don't need that um just a good j snorkel is what you need i put a little duct tape american flag duct tape on there on the top that helps people spot you um in the water really any anything you could put white duct tape or fluorescent duct tape this is just what i had and why not in america freedom right guys so that's my setup um your setup may be different but i had some questions on everything that i use for inshore i'll make a video another day on how, what i use for offshore but that's a, that's much more in depth